Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you have a red X over your Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection down your system tray on Windows 7. So this will apply for newer versions of Windows as well. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu just by left-clicking on the Start button one time. You want to type in Device Manager. Best Manager should come back with Device Manager underneath Control Panel. You want to left-click on that. So now you want to expand the Network Adapter section right here. So either double-click on it or left-click on the little arrow immediately next to it. Now the Network Adapter is shown here. You want to right-click on it and left-click on Enable. So if it's currently disabled, there will be an option here to enable. So if it says enable, left click on enable. Now you can see our red X is going down here. Now I would suggest trying to open up a web browser, see if you're able to access the websites you were having problems with prior. Now if that didn't resolve it, I would recommend restarting it and look at your web browser again, trying to open up the browser, see if it took effect. Now if that still didn't work, I'd recommend opening up the start menu again, just left click on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best Management or Program should come back with CMD here. You want to right click on it. Left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on Yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. So again, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Then you want to hit Enter should say successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now that you've done that, you want to type in NET SH space WinSock space reset. Then you want to hit enter. Should say successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So at this point I would suggest restarting your computer, see if it was able to resolve your issues. And I do hope it was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.